right. We are going to jump into a song called Love Murder One. Uh, another interesting and pretty unique song. I mean, check this out. Again, another reason we wanted to keep this very natural, just a drummer in a room. Not a lot of processing, not a lot of... This shit's hard. Um, it's hard to do, but it's also super gangster. Uh, this is for me kind of where the pocket like gets a little easier when you start adding in those toms, but we wanted to kind of showcase a lot of the ghost notes, a lot of the subtle nuance that gets lost on a big record. Like, I sympathize with producers, believe me. They've got a lot of elements to deal with and like, you know, drummers and bass players, and we can drive them nuts like, hey, are we gonna hear this little thing that I did? They're dealing with the whole picture, but this was a great chance to kind of showcase some of the little nuances, so. Letting those ghost notes just kind of dance through the pocket. Now this was challenging, this part, you know? It was like, it's such a simple thing. And then when it, this is a tough fill for me. Because it's so slow. You're at, you know, that's part, one of the biggest parts about drumming. You know, we, we did our first three records with no click track. I mean, in a way we were very green, but in a lot of ways there's a real natural beauty to those records. Welcome home, moves. I remember Justin, the drummer from Killswitch, called me one time. He says, hey man, I'm trying to play along to Welcome Home. And every time I think I have the tempo, uh, I don't really have it. Is it something weird, like 93.8 or something? And I said, no, we didn't do it to a click. He didn't believe me. He was like, no, bands do that? <laughs> um, but yeah, so one of the things that when you play with a click, you realize how much you naturally move. And that fill, I just want to push it. But all this stuff here, it's like very kind of, Simple, but not. You know, I hope, in best case scenario, is that I'm creating melodic drumming that, that sticks with you. My goal is to have the song, have the drums on the song be like, you can't imagine it any other way. Which is tough in a band like Coheed. There's a lot of interesting things that happen. So, this part's obviously pretty straight up. When we recorded this, there was a different version of that fill that um, led us into that last chorus, but they cut it out and stuck in a version on a different take. But um, I, to everyone else, the fill was the same fill. They said, well, you do the same fill twice, but any drummer would know on one I landed on the toms and another one I landed on the snare, which um, I get it, probably a little too like nuanced. They essentially were the same fill, but I think I have it on my phone. Maybe I'll share it uh, on social media at some point. Anyway, that was Love Murder One. Interesting song and a really kind of weird song. Um, you know, the auto tune and that kind of stuff, kind of very modern uh, and digital. I kind of felt like the drums really added in some of that earthiness uh, that I think the song really wanted. So hopefully we accomplished that. And I hope you guys like it. And I hope you guys enjoy me talking through the whole song.